So uh, let's go ahead and determine reaction spontaneity from uh, enthalpy um, values. So we're going to have to um, calculate the change in entropy of the universe and decide whether this is going to be greater or um, less than zero. Okay, so in this uh, problem it says that 298 Kelvin, the formation of ammonia has a negative uh, change in uh, entropy of the system. Then it gives this um, equation, and it also gives delta S not of the system, but degrees of the system, is negative 197 joules per Kelvin. Calculate the delta S of the universe. state whether the reaction occurs uh, spontaneously or not, okay? So delta S of the universe is going to be the delta S of the system plus the delta S of the surroundings. Okay, so how do we um, go about calculating the delta S of the surroundings? Do you guys remember it? So it's going to be the negative, right? Delta H of what? The system. Okay, very important that it's the system that you're putting in there. Divided by what? The temperature. And what is that going to be in units? Kelvin. Okay? So. Okay, so is everybody okay with what we've done here? And remember, if the this is greater than zero, then it's spontaneous. If it's less than zero, then it's non-spontaneous at this temperature, of course, okay? So, um, first thing we have to do now is figure out, well, what's the delta H of the system? Okay. So, we have the standard heat of formation of ammonia, so we're going to have to figure out what the um, actual enthalpy of this system is, okay? So, the change in H of the reaction, so that's going to be equivalent to the change in H of the um, system. And so how do we do that? It's products minus reactants, right, times the number of moles, okay? So, two, um, Got that number there, negative 45.9 kilojoules per mole, like that. And that's all of the products there, right? So we're going to subtract that from all of the reactants, okay? This equation is already balanced. I guess I should have said that you have to have this equation balanced in order to do it. So what do we have here? Well, we've got one mole of nitrogen, but I don't see nitrogen's heat of formation over here. What is what is nitrogen's heat of formation, guys? Zero. Zero, right? Zero kilojoules per mole. And why is that? It's because they're, it's at its standard state uh, and it's an, in its elemental form, okay? So one mole times zero kilojoules per mole, and of course, if you don't need to write all this stuff out. I'm just doing it for formalism. Uh, plus three moles of hydrogen. And what is its uh, enthalpy of formation? Zero, Zero again. Okay. So when we do that, we get um, two times negative 45.9, I get negative 91.8 kilojoules for um, the system. Okay. So has everybody got that? So I'm going to erase all this stuff up here so I can rewrite. I'll give you guys a second to do all your work. Now we 
we've got the delta H of the system, right? It, and I guess I didn't write it down, but it says it happens at 298 Kelvin, okay? So that's the temperature. So, we should be able to determine the entropy of the surroundings now. Is everybody okay with that? So, let's just kind of put this calculation up here. So, that's going to equal negative times negative 91.8 kilojoules divided by 298. Kelvin. Um, oftentimes you'll put uh, these entropy values since they're so small in joules, if you recall from the last problem. So let's just convert that while we're here. So we're going to multiply this by one kilojoule, 1,000 joules. Cancel out our kilojoules there. So when we do this, we get I get that the uh, change in entropy of the surroundings is three, so to three sig figs, 308 joules per Kelvin. Has everybody got that? Okay, so it wants to know is does this reaction occur spontaneously at this temperature? Well, we can't tell from this yet. We actually have to plug it into this equation here that we've already come up with, okay? So I'm going to erase this part. We don't need this number anymore. Questions about that one? Yeah. When you bring the entropy for the surrounding, why uh -huh. did you uh, put a negative sign for the negative? That's what they do. Uh, they, so, has a negative uh, sign in front of it, okay? That's all right. That's a good question. Okay, any other questions? Okay, wonderful. 